and Kevin McCall were going back and forth again yesterday on Instagram, and it got really ugly. So Kevin McCall posted a picture of Chris Brown, uh, and Chris Brown had his arm around a, a guy, and he said, hardcore rapper, but he's glossy. And then he put hashtag glossy loke. Salute to uh, at Kilo Righteous on Twitter. He said, I didn't know who Kevin McCall was, so I looked him up. Now I really don't know who he is. <laughs> Damn. Yes. All right, and then uh, Chris Brown responded, Skid Row's finest, bum tunes. The fact that he can't even pay for the cheapest flight to Paris is even funnier. You still close. You're the only N-word that ain't got no women. I'm mature enough to accept people for who they are. K-Mac sounds like a product with that permanent picket fence he calls a mouth. He said, nights <sighs> like this, face ass. I sing at funerals, face ass. N-word, you look like afterbirth. Can't believe it's not butterface ass. Check his record. Everyone knows the BS I did. How this old are N-word you has rape charges, claims I'm a woman beater, but beat up his sister. She came to my daughter's party with Eva's child. Same sock wearing. Man, he just went on Chris, and on. Chris, you can't, you know, clown somebody for having a rape charge when you have such a high-profile domestic violence charge. Well, Kevin Moore's call did post pictures of Rihanna's face. Let's just take all violence uh, towards From, women out of the equation when is, throwing slander at each other, guys. This both, is disgusting. <laughs> Both of y'all sound ridiculous, okay? If this guy, Kevin, has a rape charge and you've got this domestic violence charge, just leave that out of it, okay? It kind of cancels each so, other out. Yeah, stick to each no. other's physical appearance. All right, well, here's what Chris Brown had to say in video that he posted. You the only n- that show up drunk to the parent-teacher conference. Stop playing with me, bitch-ass n-. Oh, Count Chocolate Face-ass n-. You sleep in this fetal position, you sick man. You about to see this n- outside of McDonald's talking about something. Man, I told y'all n- Back then, I was a man. You already had everything. You, already, you know nothing about that down. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows. Nobody knows you, bitch ass n- That n- shaped like a wiffle ball bat. And you better stop playing with me too, n- Still got your contracts. I'll watch your mouth, son, before I make you sing background for royalty. The white man should have never gave you Negroes the internet. Damn I'm man. being totally honest with y'all. Like, what was the crazy. point of all of that? Like, what is the reasoning behind uh, any of that? Does Kevin McCall want to get off the label? What, like, what's, what's now his Kevin problem? McCall responded. What label? You know, he was signing Chris Brown. Chris Brown had a label. I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. So Kevin McCall responded, I'm waiting for the day you stop tweeting and pick up a phone so this fade can be quick. Oh, God. And honor of Kimbo, can I bust your nose? Mention my baby mama or kid again and your next show in L.A. is going to be like a Trump rally. You said F my grandma, remember? Wait, you better hope I don't run into you, bro. And I don't pay no security guards, but I'm going to get that fair head up set up. You asked for it. How can they not run into each other? L.A.'s not but so big. Yeah, not that big. Like, I don't either know. y'all meet up and square, shoot a fair one or keep it moving. Like, all this Instagram stuff look ridiculous. Well, Chris Brown responded to that. Oh, my God. And said, all this flexing is for attention. He has my address and has been given a personal invite to my home numerous times for the fade. He whack and has no hands. Y'all giving old buddy too much credit. He claimed he got time to fight, but don't got time to be a daddy. I'm dragging this N-word for the comments when it was serious. Homie was on the first flight out. Take my D out your mouth, part-time gangster, and don't go off talking about God next. He don't want to hear it, you lame. And God told me he was drunk as ish when he made you. Woo! And at, the, and at the end of that, he said, don't go calling the police, right? When you see me, you know what it is. Paper trail, police, ass, and word. Yeah, all of y'all are leaving paper trails, you freaking idiots. All of y'all online talking about what y'all going to do to each other, but then you saying to him, don't call the police. What I got to call the police for when you just dry snitching on yourself via social media? They should shoot the This is ridiculous. Now. Like, none of this makes any sense. It like, doesn't. it's like nobody's thinking. Nope. You just threaten a guy to a fight. You tell him you want to beat him up. When you see him, you go on site, yada, yada, yada. Then at the end of it, you say, and don't call the police. Don't and call I, the police. I just think you that, just told the police. Well, Kevin I just McCall think part said of it is. First, and then Chris Brown said, don't call the police. They should just shoot a I, I just know they shouldn't because I think sometimes things really do get out of hand with all this back and forth on social media. We've seen a lot of terrible things happen, and I would hate for something to happen in I, this situation, especially because they both have, you know, they got history with each other. Though they have history with each other, they've been signed well, down would, for a long if time. If we would hate for something to happen, don't report on it. Well, we have to. It's no, we don't. A report. And I don't think reporting on it is what's going to make something happen. That's why we're telling you what's going on between the two so we can bring awareness and say <laughs> somebody's got to tell the two of them. I'm sure there's somebody they listen to. They got to chill out. Okay. You know, hopefully. Woosah, bros. Woosah.